last couple trips we've gone on this summer, we have been absolutely beaten on this Cherokee. Now we built it to be an Overlander, but I realized that it, it may not be just that anymore. I don't mind beating up my red Cherokee, but I'd rather not do that to the green Cherokee, at least to the extent that we have been. Now I'm not complaining, but this weekend, we decided to keep the trails light and explore some new to us areas far into the Colorado backcountry. Welcome back everybody. For the next three days and two nights, Jake, Natalie, and I are gonna be overlanding Colorado. Specifically, we're in an area just north of Glenwood Springs on a trail called Transfer Trail. We're gonna be following this trail up the mountain, going to see some lakes, going to find some epic campsites, doing some fishing, Then we're gonna make our way down the mountain a few days from now on a different trail. The trails we're exploring this week traveled through the White River National Forest. In 1891, this area was designated the White River Plateau Timberland Reserve in an effort to save it from the quick deforestation and the issues brought about by mining. At the time, the reserve encompassed over 1 million acres of beautiful Colorado landscape. And today, that number has more than doubled at 2.3 million acres, all in the heart of the Colorado Rockies. By no surprise, this national forest is one of the most visited in the country, mostly thanks to the 11 ski resorts and 10 14ers within its boundaries. For us, the draw to this beautiful national forest is the over 1,900 miles of dirt trails here to explore. We're going to be exploring roughly 50 of those 1,900 miles on this trip, so I guess we'll be back. Ashley and I were here back in November of last year, about 10 months ago or so, and we tried to stay here. We came up the mountain to try to look for this spot, but there was actually a big group of Toyotas already here. Since then, this campsite's always been in the back of my mind and I've been wanting to get back to it. Sit. 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 Free dog. We've been at camp a few hours now and it's finally time for dinner. Now this time of the night is usually when Ashley would start cooking, but tonight Jacob is gonna be cooking for us. Hey Jake, what are we cooking tonight? Cooking sloppy Jakes. What the heck is that? <laughs> well, I don't know how to make sloppy Joes, so they're just sloppy Jakes. It started off with me trying to make hamburgers and they just wouldn't stay together and I just served it how it was and it was a hit. Everybody liked it and just season some meat, throw it in a bun, have some cheese with it, sloppy jakes. <laughs> nice, I'm excited and I'm also maybe a little scared. <laughs> Me <But> too. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thinking? <laughs> no. <laughs> so we figured out our table setup once again. Keep doing that, but got the Yeti down here and then a few of our totes and it seems to be the perfect height. It's not bad. And we get to Pretty bring good. less gear. Yeah. This setup also comes with uh, automatic levelers. Don't know where you get those at though. I was a little worried when we were pulling up the camp because coming over the mountains were some really dark looking clouds, but it turned out to be a beautiful, cool and clear day. And we can even see at least five 14ers in the distance. That's pretty crazy. Two obvious ones right here, one, two, and then there's like a big clump of three back here. It's what I think to be the 14ers. It's pretty nuts. Also, for those of you familiar with this area, this is Glenwood Springs down here. And this is the Glenwood Adventure Caverns or something like that. They have a little adventure park with roller coasters and whatnot on top of the mountain. We are literally above them right now. Right now we're gonna add a little bit of cheese um, and then we're gonna add some more later. Just, I like cheese. <laughs> When I used to go camping back home and go to Maine a lot, all I would make is sloppy jakes and chicken teriyaki. And they were both hits, but chicken teriyaki is a little bit messy to be making on the trail, but it tastes amazing. It takes thinking about writing a cookbook. Oh, it's already in the works. An overland cookbook. Yeah. Just those two things. <laughs> yeah. And just have bear recommendations in it. <laughs> this is a new Marco from Overland X. One more minute, minute and 30 seconds. Got it on a timer? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think they're just about done. If not, now they're done. But I'll be the guinea pig. Just how you remember? Just how I remember. <laughs> I like it. Pretty good. <laughs> good. <laughs> it's good. Jake and I called it a night not too long ago. We got a long day ahead of ourselves tomorrow. We got about four, probably about four to five hours on the trail tomorrow before we get to our next destination. So if you haven't realized by now, Ashley and the other two buffs, Belle and Lily, they're sending this one out. They're back home. So Natalie and I have this entire rooftop tent to ourselves. And it's pretty nice and roomy. We haven't really made our bed yet, but Natalie found her spot where she's gonna be sleeping. We're gonna have to move you, baby. She's tired, she had a long day, but she was a good girl. So I also wanted to show you all this process that I've been doing for quite a while. Towards the end of the day on trips recently, I'll pull out the laptop and I'll transfer all the footage from the SD cards on the camera, the drone, the GoPros, and I'll put it onto a hard drive. Just a little tiny small hard drive. I got them off Amazon right here. Got one right here. This is the third one I've gone through in probably about six months and they each hold two terabytes worth of worth of information. So that's pretty crazy. We kind of, we go through a lot of footage. Today, for instance, uh, it wasn't a long day. We didn't take too much footage, but we got around, I think 40 to 50 gigabytes worth of footage. And that's just the Sony a7 III. That's not including the drone or and we didn't take any footage today on GoPros. Tomorrow's gonna be a much longer day and I'm estimating probably around 50 to 60 gigabytes worth of footage. And that's probably including the drone and the GoPros as well. Anyways, I just want to show you all that. We'll see you all in the morning.
morning, everybody. It was a really nice night, nice and cool up here in the mountains. I don't think I said it before, but we're at 8,200 feet. Last night, we had a storm roll in just for a little bit. It was around 1 a.m. and it started downpouring really, really good. While I was lying there awake, I had my eyes closed and I saw a big, big blue light through, through my eyelids. And I knew it was lightning and then all of a sudden the thunder came and that was the only lightning and thunder we heard all night. But after that, the storm passed, it stopped raining and it kept moving on. This morning, we were able to make some great coffee and we attempted, on the, like for the first time in backcountry beagle history, to make breakfast. We had some eggs and sausage. The sausage just came out pretty good, but the eggs, it was a big, big mess. The eggs just stuck to the pan. It wasn't all that pretty, but it still tasted pretty good. So we got a big day ahead of us. We're trying to get to a lake specifically because we're going to be doing some fishing. So we're going to be packing up the tents here shortly and hitting the trail. This is an amazing campsite. We've camped in a lot of locations from right next to lakes, inside of canyons, in the middle of the desert, but my favorite is always the overlooks. I love trying to find epic campsites, and that is exactly what this is. much mud up here. Probably has a lot to do with the rainstorm we had last night. There's another beautiful campsite. This one's not too far. About three miles from where we were. You're up even higher. You got crazy views. Super nice. This trail, I wouldn't consider difficult by any means, but man, is it gorgeous. It reminds me why we moved here to Colorado in the first place. I don't think I could ever get enough of this. On some animals. It's a bunch of sheep. Natalie hasn't spotted them yet though. Hundreds of them, that's crazy. We got two herding dogs too. Natalie's gonna see them and be very, very upset. See the sheep, Natty? How's it going? I know, I'm sorry, we're getting out of here. Wow, these are good dogs. That's crazy. They're leaving. How's it going, buddy? I know, I know. How's it going, buddy? We're out of here. See you later. Oh my god, I'm bringing them really far. Oh, they got sheep over here, too. Look at all their sheep. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get by this <laughs> hundred in the trailer right now. Come on, let's go. Oh, we got another dog over here. We got a horse. This is insane. This is crazy. Hey, he's a good pup, huh? Crazy. 
They finally gave up. They're going back to the herd. Natalie, that made you mad, huh, girl? Just getting a drink of water now after all that barking. Those are some good dogs, man. been driving for close to five hours now. We are deep into the back country and we came across the perfect campsite. So this campsite has a really cool feature. It's right on the water and there's an island not too far away from it. So we walked over to the island with all our fishing gear, with Natalie, all the camera gear. And right now we're gonna attempt to fish on the island. much luck fishing off of the island or much luck in this lake at all actually i learned after this trip from someone who's familiar with this area that you probably won't catch much in this lake because it's pretty shallow and as a result it freezes all the way through in the winter killing all of the fish they gave us a recommendation of another lake close by where we would probably have more luck so that's probably where we'll be heading next time <laughs> hey where are you going Who's that? Did you get him? No, you didn't. Natty, Natty y'all done? You leaving us up here? Natty, no. So Jake's trying some fishing again, and Natalie's being really bad, so she's not allowing me to fish. I'm just hanging out here with her for now. And you just want to go find those bad things. You just want to go attack those things that you can't find because they run away. <laughs>
Good morning, everybody. Last night was definitely a cold one. It was a little chilly, but now the sun's out and it's definitely warming up. I don't think I mentioned earlier, but we're at 10,500 feet. And this is probably, in my opinion, one of the best times to camp here. It cools down at night. You're just gonna make sure you have a good sleeping bag, some blankets and whatnot, maybe some little puppy heaters. And then during the day, it's a perfect temperature, probably around 70 degrees or so, I'd say. I don't have a thermometer with me, but that's what I'm guessing. I also don't think I mentioned earlier, but this is the Heart Lake Reservoir. It's up north of Glenwood Springs, and we're about five hours into the backcountry on that trail of Transfer Trail. We're gonna be taking a different trail out of here that should be easier according to the pictures on Trails Off-Road, and that's gonna be spitting us out a little bit east of Glenwood Springs. I'm hoping it's gonna be a nice trail because then that means we can take the van up here eventually. Anyways, we got a great campsite. We're practically the only ones here. We have this whole place to ourselves. There's a few other people camped on the other side of the lake. I think that's like the more populated lake over there. But we found this trail over here brought us to this absolutely beautiful campsite. Our plan is to get packed up pretty quickly and pretty early today. Then we're gonna be making our way down the trail. around 25 miles an hour on this road, making great time and moving fast, all while admiring this one-of-a-kind Colorado high country. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Our goal is to hit 2,000 subscribers by 2024. We absolutely love going out on these trips and filming them for everyone to enjoy. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. We'll see you out on the trail and we'll see you next time.